Hello, Gareth here, and just want to talk a little about this painting. So first of all, this was the uh, first painting. So I, I really like this picture. I like the um, subdued sky and um, I like the way that the, the waves begin below the boat. I like that effect and then this boat going towards an island. So that was the first painting. Then I had another go and um, I found painting that subdued sky very, very difficult, maybe because it was from my imagination and I really needed a, a real example to make it look good. So I abandoned that and decided to do a sweeping sky. And I like the way this sweeping sky, it, it, it emphasizes this island. And so I quite, I quite like that effect. And so I thought, mm, maybe this is better. But then I had another go, and this time I messed around with the sea. And so uh, we still got the sweeping clouds but this time with the sea, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more dramatic. So I, I like that a lot. And the next painting, it's only a small difference, but I realized this white shimmer here was very important. And um, this is not such a great painting, but I'm keeping it just to remember about this white shimmer gap here. Uh, maybe because it, it emphasizes the boat, the contrast. And because the boat is the focal point, it's important to have this contrast between the, you know, the um, darkness of the boat and the white shimmering light on the surface of the sea. There we go. And then I decided to add color so we went for colour. Now, sadly, the sky is a disaster and I'd like to throw away this painting, but I like this sea effect. I think the sea is really, really beautiful and it, it has that kind of um, soft, glowing, warm um, effect. So that's why I'm still keeping this as a reminder but now I've done a video, maybe I can throw it away. And then I went kind of colorful, purplish clouds. Um, I, I kind of made the tops of these trees a bit more brownish. So I'm not sure if I really like this painting, but sometimes you have to experiment a bit. And then this is really what I've done here is I, I didn't make the uh, trees brown and uh, I just kept it kind of yellow background, but then everything in the, everything else is just kind of very black, very, or bluish, bluish black. So not much extra color. And I quite like this, something very dramatic, powerful and beautiful, I think. So then, what happened here? Oh yes, so, okay. So there's another colorful one. So this is the creative process, right? Super messy. And the mistake here was I needed um, a bigger gap, uh, a light band across here to really, really make that boat stick out. So that's really a failure. So maybe throw that one away. And then I was just practicing. So with the clouds and, um, and then again, more practicing. So I guess here I'm doing these more dramatic, slightly purplish clouds, and I'm trying to work on getting the boat right and the sea. So, and again, the same kind of thing. I paint endless pictures. So um, that's quite nice, it's quite nice. 
and uh, then the final one so far and the final one for this video is this one so I'm quite happy with this so as you can see I've made a, a big change here I've decided to do a, a smaller island and make the boat bigger so I'm not sure this painting works but I think I think the previous one at the beginning with the big island and the boat going towards it was was okay but I just ended up doing this and um, yeah I really really like it I'm not sure what you think about the sea it's a it's a little bit like a, a Czech tablecloth right I shouldn't say that because now I've probably destroyed the effect but but to be honest I'm quite happy with it I find it very interesting and uh, I, I like the sky it's a little bit strange um, but I like it and I might do one or two more and then I think that's enough so I hope you enjoyed this me talking about my painting process and uh, happy painting so bye for now bye Thank you.